Butterfly Beauties, it's your girl Jazzy Leno, and I don't want to do no big intro, we just gonna skip right into this video. Um, quick disclaimer real quick, if you don't like people cursing, um, exposing companies, um, speaking their minds, speaking their truth, I would highly encourage you to please click off, because I will be doing all of those things, cursing, exposing, speaking my truth, and being transparent. I was really hesitant to make this video because I know that some people, not all of my butterfly beauties, but some people that's just on here lurking, some people that just pop in to see what I have going on, they've been praying for stuff like this. People have been praying, and not with an A, with an E, praying on my downfall, but I don't really shed light into the negativity like that, but if that, you know, that crossed my mind that maybe I shouldn't make this video, but I was like, screw that. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible through this whole journey, through this whole entrepreneurship, through my whole business. Um, and this is basically a testimony for my greatness that I can look back on and like, wow, like, you know, they screwed you over, but it's okay. So basically, yeah, to make a long story short, I got screwed. And when I say I got screwed, um, it hurt me a little bit. Yesterday, I was crying because this company had screwed me over after having a long working relationship um and the thing about me if i build a relationship with somebody whether i know you or i don't um i'm gonna stand by that relationship i'm going to um keep the same character i'm not gonna come out of bag on you or do something do something malicious to you or anything like that because that's just not the type of person that i am that's not the type of person my company is and that's not the type of person that i want to work with Period. In this video, I might be mentioning the company's name. I might break it down into a acronym or whatever. I might just leave their um, whole company store in my description box. That's my choice. So if I decide that I want to be that petty, then I will. If I decide that, no, maybe I won't do this because that might be bad for business, then I won't. But after you screw me, I I can't I can't separate from how I can you know, tiptoeing around your feelings because I'm not doing that. So, once again, if you have a problem with videos like this, I advise you to click out. My young subscribers, I will be cussing. By no means am I telling you to have this type of attitude or whatever. But if you guys see a different attitude in my tone and my facial expressions, that's just because I am upset with this company. This is not geared towards you guys. But I feel like my real subscribers don't, I don't have to say that. You guys may know, Butterfly Blinks is my business. Butterfly Blinks and Beauty is coming. Now you've seen the title, I am not quitting my business. I am not quitting entrepreneurship. I am not no longer selling lashes. I'm not doing none of that. So you can consider it clickbait or whatever you want to consider it, but that's not the case. But I will be giving you guys a story on what's in this box that's really pissed me off to the point of no return so you guys if you've looked went to my website before you know i sell many different types of lashes i sell natural lashes 25 mm long lashes just you know every kind of lash that you would think of so i've been sold out for a while and i was planning on doing this big restock but with me and my business, I have multiple vendors for different things, which that's okay when you have a lash business. You don't have to get everything from one specific vendor. But anyways, I have multiple vendors for different things. So the things that are in this box, I order from a vendor that I have already had a working relationship with, a good working relationship with, I thought. I have been a reoccurring customer. I speak to one person that's in this company, or so I thought every single time. Um, that's who I've been communicating with, but I guess this time things got misconstrued or people were trying to cut corners and save their business some coins while screwing me in the end. So, I wanted to restock on natural lashes. With my vendor, I communicated that through this app called WhatsApp. You'll probably, if you have a business or you do things that, you, that require a vendor, um, you will probably communicate with your vendor person through this app called WhatsApp. So I've been communicating like, hey, I'm gonna restock, be restocking soon, and you know that you're my vendor for this, we have a good working relationship, blah, 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 blah. Um, I need this. Can you send me your natural lash charts? Cool. So um, the lady's name is Bunny. I will be saying her name or the name that, that she goes by to me. I don't know if that's her real name or whatever it is, but that's just what it is. So her name is Bunny. So 
I text Bunny. We talk all the time when it comes to my business. It's not like I'm texting her what you're doing or whatever. But when it's time for business or it's two weeks prior, three weeks prior, a month prior, I let her know, hey, I'll be ordering the end of August. Hey, I'll be ordering September. Hey, I got a big event coming up. Hey, I got a vendor event coming up that I need 150 prior lashes. Whatever. So, she sends me some lash charts that I did not like. So, I went back and sent her the last chart that she sent me from when we had last worked together. Now, if you know me and you watch my first video, you know that I have a, vet, a contract with my vendors. And it's not a contract stating that they can only work with me. It's a contract stating that basically we're swapping, we're trading, I'm the, I'm the buyer, you're the seller, and we're gonna exchange up something. And it's going to be up to my standards of what I asked for. Okay, keep that in mind. So she already, they already, her company already agreed to this via email. I sent her the last try back and I tell her which um, lash styles I want, which I have the names right here. I wanted lash out M69, M22, M30, and M39. So um, she says, okay, uh, I love working with you. Let me send you the invoice through whatever wholesale. I'm not gonna leak my wholesaler uh, website, but let me send you the invoice. So I said, okay, immediately paid it. I don't ever ask for any discounts, but I do ask for, can I get the lowest shipping, um, the lowest shipping cost? Yeah, if my lace has a white tint, that's because I was rushing, putting on this wig. So please excuse that. Y'all know I really don't come out here looking raggedy. But anyway, so I was like, I need the lowest shipping. She's like, okay, I always ask for the lowest shipping. So it is not, you know, something that needs to be said. It's not something, well, not nothing, I take that back. Not nothing that needs to be said, but it's not an issue, basically. Um, so I ordered my lashes. Yesterday, I get up, and after, after I pay, she says, thank you. Love working with your company. And that's just that. We don't talk, we don't go into details about anything. So... Mind you, I have worked with this company two other times, so the standard has been the same for the first time and the second time. And this last time, I feel like that I was screwed over. I feel like people were trying to save money on, you know, what they were going to send me. I feel like I was um, made a fool of because I had to um, address this with you. And then you're not recognizing your damn mistakes. That shit pissed me off. And then I, t I tell you about your wrongs and you're telling me you have to check with your damn fright department to make sure you sent the wrong thing. I'm showing you pictures of what you sent me the past two times and what I've asked for this time, which they are the same. And side by side, these lashes are not the fucking same. So anyway, um, DHL knocks on my door yesterday. Knock. They always deliver my lashes quick. I never had to wait alone periodically time for <laughs> yeah I know I gotta be goofy but that's really not a goofy matter because I'm really upset but I try not to let people steal my joy so I never had to wait a long period of time to get the lashes so they came so yeah I get up to my room I open up these lashes and this is what I see hold on I'm trying to see this is what I see I'm like, okay, they got new packaging. And if you know, let me see. This is just an example. If you know my lashes, you know they come on this clear thing that I told them about that fits my boxes. That's also listed in my contract that it has to come in this, um, at least a clear container, like this little, I don't know what this is called. This clear part has to come with it. So what did I get? I got 15 styles. Um, I don't even know how many of each because it wasn't what I asked for. Um, but this came in the mail. When I show y'all these fucking lashes, let me get close. Do lashes? Do y'all see how thin these lashes are? Do y'all see how cheap these lashes look? Then this, they know that they're wrong because this is how they're supposed to come. Like this, this amount of density, 
that kind of band, but instead, they send me this. I don't want to too much open it because I will be sending this shit back to them because this is really ridiculous. Y'all, look at these fucking lashes. These are supposed to be the same as these. Are you fucking kidding me? So, I said, this is not this is not what I agreed to. And it's a couple other styles that don't look that bad, but I don't want none of it. I don't want any of it. Just because the simple fact, I feel like you played with me. And my box also came like this. I'm not over exaggerating. I'm not lying. Now this side, I might have, you know, took the took the cardboard out, but it basically came like that. So I'm like, oh hell no. I'm like, did they just play with me? So um, so I write bunny. And mind you, they're in overseas. I don't want to say where they're from. They're overseas and they have different time periods, which is cool. But it's not cool because I'm heated. It's cool because I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Before I decide that I'm going to either, one, apply for a refund on the wholesaler site, two, call my bank and tell them I will send this shit back and please, um, you know, reverse the payment, or three, do what I'm doing now and blast your fucking company on YouTube to my subscribers, to my customers, because I would be a fool to sell this. I would be a fool to recommend this to somebody. I would be a fool to put my name on this bullshit. I am not doing it. And this is the first time that I have took an L like this. I'm just so thankful that I did not order way more because I plan to order 200 natural lashes. This is only a few. I don't know how many this is, but I'm not gonna say something told me, but I just didn't order that much. But I'm glad that I did. I would be a fool. And I'm letting y'all know this. Um, some of y'all might not know me. I know I haven't did really many personal videos. I mean, I have to, you know, about business stuff and other things. But this isn't me being real to you guys. I would be a damn fool to put my name, my brand that I've worked so hard for on my own with no damn handouts, no damn nothing. Nobody got me my rise to the top. Nobody did nothing for me. Nobody, uh, I didn't collab with nobody. I didn't ask nobody for no handout. I didn't DM nobody for no fucking money for no, to start no business. I don't have no rich ass boyfriend. My parents are not filthy damn rich. I don't have nothing like that. I work hard for my brand. And to think that you would send me some bullshit like this and expect me to sell this to people for 20 fucking dollars and slap butterfly blinks on that, you a goddamn fool because I would not be doing it. I'm really upset when people try to get over. So I, I reached out, said, hey, Bunny, uh, I think there's been a mistake. These lashes do not uphold to the standard or even the quality. It doesn't even matter about, you know, the standard that I have for you. All that shit can go out the window. This is not what I sent you a picture of that you have advertised on your chart. This is not that. This is some bullshit that you gave me because you were trying to save money and you were trying to get over. So once you try to get over on me, I will blast your ass. I will call you out after I've tried to give you the benefit of the doubt. So this company on whatever site is called BFH. I'm not going to say their full name because I don't want to other people to look at me and say I'm bashing but the acronyms for their company is BFH sent me this bullshit after we had a working relationship after they signed a contract with their dumb asses and the, my contract specifically states that this contract is not to be terminated until after our working relationship it doesn't matter if I deal one sale that is not the end of our working relationship because as soon as I do the next sale soon as I buy something else from you, that is still a working relationship, you asshole. So if I wanted to sue you or if I wanted to bring this into, you know, law matters, I actually could because I'm really smart about my shit. I'm really smart about my brand and I'm a damn good businesswoman. I offer people the best service. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't put that shit on my eyes. So you think I'm going to put that on my website? And I look like a fool because after 
after I ordered, I made email list, I did my email list, I did everything stating that the natural collection is coming back, you guys have been asking. The lashes that these were supposed to be on my website are the styles Flutter, Mary Postal, and Fly Girl. Those all look like, you know, 3D lash extensions. Those lashes that I showed you in that white packaging, I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't know if that was supposed to be a joke. I don't know if that was supposed to be, you know, a Halloween costume lash. But that's not what the fuck I ordered. And it's really pissing me off. And I know I probably won't get no ads on this video because of my language. But I do not care. I am a person who stands with dignity. I'm not going to ever come on here and recommend anybody to you guys that is not good. And if one of you guys come back and tell me that somebody that I've referred you to or somebody that, you know, knows me, that does business, uses poor customer service, has poor products, has this, has that, I'm not going to no longer recommend them to anybody because I can't be the face of that. And this shit, I cannot be the face of it. If I was to put those lashes in my boxes, that would be doing a disservice to not only you guys, but my brand. And I would not be doing that. Um, I'm a person who is courageous. I am not a person that's just trying to do something quick for money. I never wanted to be that person. Just like I get on here, and I wasn't going to make this video because I know that it's people that I used to be cool with. I know it's people that, you know, just don't even know me from the camera, that want to see me fail, that want to see me stop. But you are a damn fool because if you think that you read that title and you thought that I was going to quit because of this one little mishap with these damn lashes, you are out your fucking mind. I have yet and still will always be an entrepreneur. I will yet and still always prosper and I know that I'm destined for greatness. And piggybacking off of that, I know my shit. I know that if I said this contract is for our entire, the termination of our working relationship, termination of a working relationship, that does not have, have to just be one transaction. That is not a working relationship. Anybody that I have that I have ever worked with, I will continue to work with you if you are a good person. If you stand by good quality, good product, good customer service, I will do that for you. And I've never been the person to just do something quick for a dollar. That's why y'all don't see me doing no damn hair reviews. That's why y'all don't see me doing damn Amazon reviews. That's why y'all don't see me doing stuff like that. Not because I'm not offered, but because I'm not going to just put out trash. And if you want trash, this is not the place for you. If you want trash, please don't ever click on Butterfly Blinks. If you want trash, please don't ever talk to me because I'm never going to give somebody that. I'm never going to do that. I'm just, I'm just so against people doing that. I'm not ever going to be that person. I'm never going to be that person to where money is everything because I don't think it is. Now, somebody else, yeah, they might have sold these lashes, but hell no. I'll be sending each and every last one of these fucking lashes back. If I get a refund, great. If I don't, great. I'll probably make the money that I made back from this video on my other videos, but it doesn't matter. I'm just here to tell you guys, make sure that you're on top of your stuff when it comes to these vendors because that will scam your ass. It has happened to me. It has happened to me, and I've been in this for almost eight months. It has happened to me. Not saying that this is the worst thing that could have ever happened to me. Not saying that other things won't happen to me. But this is how I'm dealing with my situation. So please, in the comments, do not tell me how to deal with my situation. If it's not positive, if it's not, you know, constructive criticism, this is me venting on my channel and that's what I can do. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long, you guys, but when I tell you guys I was so pissed, I was sad, but I, I never thought about stop selling lashes. I just put that in the, in the title. You can call it clickbait, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, I just want to tell you guys to make sure that you are on top of your stuff. And if a situation comes to where you have a bump in the road, get your ass up and keep going. Because that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. You know what I've been doing? Trying to find a new natural lash vendor. And I have two or three that I will be considering that I will also give them, give them a contract as well. So that I can make sure that I secure my back, secure my refund, and secure my checks and my coins and my business and my brand. Period. And that's all I got for y'all. I thank y'all for transforming with me. Shout Butterfly Blinks. We are still doing a major restock in September. And also, while this got me all mad, Butterfly Beauty will be launching in December for my one-year anniversary. So there's that on that. 
I hope you guys have a great week. I hope if you have a business, you are a person of integrity and a person who is honest and a person who other people can relate to. And you never put your brand or your name on something that you wouldn't wear or something that you know is of less quality. So that's all I got for you guys and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.